is an historic moment nearly 60 years ago when 13 African American students integrated two schools in Floyd County. One of them would go on to become the first black student to graduate from an integrated high school in all of Southwest Virginia and the second across the state. 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw sat down with her to hear about the challenges and triumphs of what they did. It was headline news in 1950s Floyd County. More than a dozen African American students fighting for equal access to education in Southwest Virginia. It is my thinking that there may materialize in the very near future suits in other counties in Southwest Virginia as well. And a then 17 year old Daisy Jean Penn was right in the center of it all. We went to school and had a school right here, almost walking distance, and couldn't go to. Daisy was born and raised in Floyd. I lived here in Floyd really all my life. And after graduating from the African American Elementary School, she and other black students had to make the trek to Christiansburg every day to attend the All Black Christiansburg Institute, initially founded in 1866 to educate former slaves. Busing, you know, like 44 miles per day to go to school, you know, uh, high school. To me, it didn't really make sense. That also didn't make sense to other families who, along with Daisy's parents, started the push to desegregate Floyd County and check high schools, a possibility that had everyone talking. How do you feel about possible integration here in Floyd County and Floyd County schools? As a student, I don't think it's going to work. That push started in May of 1959, five years after the landmark Brown versus Board of Education decision that ruled segregated public schools were unconstitutional. My parents and some of the others, we had to go to court in Roanoke two or three times, you know, just to get in over there. Their legal fight paid off. Four months later, a judge ruled that Floyd County and Czech high schools must integrate. But I'm just glad it happened, which should have happened sooner. When was the last time that you've been out here? Golly, don't ask me that. It's been quite a few years. It was front page news in January of 1960 when Daisy Jean Penn and seven other students walked through the doors at Floyd County High School, now Floyd Elementary. So does it look a little different now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's different. She walked these halls for six months until graduation and says Floyd's integration was remarkably quiet. I mean, there were a lot of name calling, but I just let it go in one ear and out the other. Really, we didn't just didn't have any problems like I've seen on TV and all, you know, and all fighting and stuff. We didn't have anything like that. In June, Daisy became the first African-American student to graduate from an integrated high school in Southwest Virginia and only the second across the entire state. Proud moments as she got ready for that milestone captured forever on film. At least we got what we had to do accomplished, so that was the main thing. It's been nearly 60 years since Daisy stepped out of her childhood home and into history, and she says she wouldn't change a thing. If I had to do it again, it would be no problem. And for her and plenty of other families in Floyd, it was an experience that reached beyond the headlines to pave the way for all students to share in the joys of learning. Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.